Hi, I'm Ben from Cadet in Sydney, Australia, taking just a few moments to demonstrate Windows, Views, Projections, and the 2D annotation commands available with the TFlex 3D software system. To begin our demonstration, we're going to create a new 3D model from the upper left of our TFlex interface, this cube-like icon, which opens up a default system of three axis planes. From the front 3D uh, axis plane, system axis plane, I'm going to left click which opens an immediate context toolbar offering me various commands relevant to that plane. It'll stay up for a couple of seconds. If I don't select anything it'll disappear. All I need to do is left click again on the, the uh, plane and the context toolbar reappears. There's various commands relevant to the plane on this toolbar. There's create sketch command and draw on work plane. These are two independent sketch function available for creating parametric 2D sketch in TFlex. The difference is create sketch will create a straightforward easy to use sketch. The draw on work plane utilizes a system of construction entities and reference objects which are very powerful when it comes to controlling curvature tangencies or if you want to link uh, the numerical information with a database or spreadsheet that's all available by using the full sketch function available um, with the construction entities on uh, draw on work plane but for this demonstration create sketch is much faster and so when we enter the create sketch function by clicking on the icon we see that object step is enabled we see also that the main toolbar across the top of tflex has changed in context of what we're doing we now have some 2d commands um, available rather than the 3D extrusion commands that we saw before and we have some sub objects sub commands that are available in what's called the auto menu so I'm going to create a circle this is sub command of the create sketch function and because the snap is enabled I can just hover over the implicit intersection of 0 comma 0 left click and I could indicate at any point where I want the diameter of that circle to lay in my sketch. For this demonstration instead we will open the properties palette. This is the middle tab of our left uh, window of the interface here in TFlex. We need the properties palette open in this demonstration because the properties for each command will be uh, controlled in this palette throughout the demonstration rather than having the feature tree or the symbols browser open in this window we really need the this properties palette open throughout the demonstration I'm going to change the value numerically of my radius to 160 hit enter and I've created my circle when I have finished creating my sketch I just go up to the green tick in the top of the tflex interface green tick green check mark indicates I'm finished with the operation in tflex and I can move on to the next command we see that we're now out of command the auto menu no longer has icons present in it the properties palette is empty I can now left click on the sketch that I've created and a new selection of commands relevant for the sketch which I've created are now available and I'm going to select create extrusion I could specify a length for my extrusion from the properties palette instead I'm going to drag um, the ends of my extrusion in real time using the dragger uh, which is a white to red uh, cursor icon that will elastically control any reference that it's permitted to control in the command that I'm inside of just real time making the changes that I want to this shape until I'm ready to create that shape and green tick means accept in tflex and I've created my circular extrusion <clears throat> in tflex the all the information is stored in windows that is these tabs that run across the top of the tflex interface this tab is called no name one so the model is called no name one if I want to create an associative 2d drawing for my no name one model I go up to the window command new window 2d view rather than 3d I want a 2d view window and we see that a linked tab has opened no name one colon two this indicates that it is linked to no name one now colon one showing that these two windows are linked to the same logical database of information we see that this uh, 2D drawing view window has offered me a default drawing view. In TFlex, a drawing view works more like a drawing page. We can see if we insert a title block, ISO title block, except defaults, 
that this is in fact more like a drawing sheet than what we would think of typical uh, drawing view of like a projection from the model. If we wanted to create additional pages or drawing views as they're called in TFlex, we just click on the 2D drawing view icon from the context main toolbar at the top of the TFlex interface, left click to select where we want that drawing view to, to uh, lay in the drawing window, green tick means accept, and we're done creating additional drawing views. I hit the escape key or the red X in the TFlex interface to indicate that I'm done with that command, I'm done creating drawing views, but it doesn't look like anything's there until I hover over the area. We see indeed that there is a drawing view created. If I drag a selection box from the right side of that drawing view, I can also select it. I'm going to make that drawing view active by right clicking on the drawing view while I've selected it from the context menu. I'm going to select Activate Drawing View. I'm also going to incite Title Block into that drawing view. ISO Title Block, accept defaults. I could type some text in there if I wanted to. Whatever. To populate this drawing view with projections of my 3D model, I just need to go to the Projection command. I could create three default projections using the cre three standard pro projections um, auto menus sub option here. TFlex will attempt to create or generate a, some kind of a meaningful uh, scale to use for those projections. I accept what it offers. It will also uh, show me where those will be placed. Green tick means accept operation. TFlex calculates the geometry from the projections and I have uh, what looks like to be a top side and front view. In this demonstration, I'm going to create now a section cut. I'm going to create that section cut where we currently have what appears to be the front view. To remove the front view, I'm just going to escape from all current commands. Auto menu is now empty and I can box select that entire front view and hit the delete key. TFlex asks to confirm if I want to delete all associated entities of that view except for the 3D geometry itself, of course, I click OK, and now that uh, projection is gone. I can create a new section view, first of all defining the reference of the section view using the section command available in the 2D toolbar. Do you see how this top context toolbar does change as I switch between the 3D window and the 2D window of no name one? So we have the 3D command still available in context along the top with a 3D window, but it changes when I'm in the 2D window. So look out for these commands that are available up here in the 2D window. As I said, section command. Um, I really don't want snap on for this command because I want to kind of arbitrarily plop that section view, uh, just eyeball where I think it's appropriate. So I'm just going to kind of plop that view. A couple of uh, left mouse clicks places both ends of the section view definition and I'm finished. Hit escape to exit the command and now I'm going to create the geometry generated by that section view in this area formerly populated by my front view. To create that projection geometry I'm going to go back to the 2D projection command. I'm not going to select anything from the auto menu. Instead I'm going to left click on that section definition TFlex is intuitive enough to know that this is now the um, definition of the projection that I want. I place that, uh, that projection where I want. The green tick means accept. I could also hit the enter key. TFlex calculates the um, section cut. And now I have a slice, as it were. If I was looking outward from those vectors A, A, against that section piece that I have just cut from the model. These views are fully associative. If I was go back into my linked 3D model window, right click on the top of my TFlex model, an extended context menu opens offering me create shell offset body. It's a good thing that I still have my properties palette open because it's here where I define the thickness of the shell command. Common thickness seven, hit enter, and I've uh, created something that looks like a bit of a cup in TFlex. Going back to my linked no name one comma two 2D model window, I can now uh, hit escape, make sure that I'm out of that uh, shell command. 
I don't want anything in that auto menu. I don't want to be in command. I want to actually be able to right mouse click on that uh, section projection and click update. And we see that the view associative, associative to my 3D model uh, will now regenerate with the appropriate geometry reflecting that I have now a piece of a cup rather than part of a cylinder. 2D annotation in TFlex is equally as intuitive. If I want to create some dimensions, for instance, the dimension command is at the top of the toolbar um, with the five with the two arrows going. And if I just uh, select geometry, TFlex knows that that circle is a radial dimension. I could have also changed it to diameter. Two lines, that's obviously a linear, dim linear dimension. To change the characteristics or properties of these dimensions, just go back into the appropriate command. For instance, if I want to change a dimension, I go back into the dimension command. And I look for the scissors at the bottom of the auto menu. Or I could also use the F4 key. The scissors, or F4 key, in command means edit any entity that has previously been gen generated or created using this command. So if I want to edit a section, I need to go into the section command. Excuse me, into the section command at the top of the toolbar and then hit those scissors. And then I could edit that section geometry or that section definition. So going back to editing my dimensioning, I'm going to go into the dimension command. Then I'm going to hit F4. I'm going to click on the dimension that I want to change. I want to alter the uh, leader jog orientation. I like my dimensions nice and clean, all face the same way. I'm still in edit mode, so I'm also going to change the um, arrow type, so it's only on the outside. Nice, clean, radial dimension. I'm going to escape from edit mode from the dimension, and now I'm going to go into edit mode for the section definition, and I'm going to change the orientation of that section um, just with this auto menu option change view direction. I'm going to exit from the edit and section definition auto menu options. I have a clean auto menu, nothing in it. Now if I go back, right click again on my section definition and my section projection, excuse me, and I click update, we see now we're looking the other way, obviously, into our cup. If I was to delete this whole 2D annotation window, go back to window, new window, 2D view, I can see that my 2D annotation information is store, still stored in the TFlex model. To make this window, this view, excuse me, again active, all I need to do is, as I showed before, uh, select window from the right side on the border of that view, right click, activate drawing view. So I thank you very much for taking a few minutes to consider 2D annotation drawing in the TFlex 3D CAD CAM system. If you have more questions about the TFlex CAD CAM system, feel free to contact us at www.cadit.net.